In this second part of this video series, we're going to go ahead and create two virtual machines to run Active Directory domain services. Now, the reason we're going to create two is just like in a local area network, we want to have redundancy for our domain controllers. Again, I'm going to use the corp.miim domain, and we are on the second part in a six-part series that will walk us through the complete creation of Active Directory within Azure. So I'm already logged in. You should be logged into your Azure account. And as you can see from the previous video, we created the MIIM virtual network. We're now ready to create the virtual machines. So I'm going to come up to new. I'm going to choose virtual machine. And then I'm going to choose the first one, Windows Server 2012 R2. Now, Azure is also a great place to test the new technology that's coming out. And as you're probably already aware, Windows Server 2016 is currently on technical preview number four. So this is a great place to instantiate a new Windows 2016 server and check it out. We're going to go ahead and use Windows Server 2012 R2 Data Center Edition. So I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to use the Static Resource Manager and choose Create. At this point, we're going to do four steps to creating our machine. First of all, I need to give the server a name. I'm going to give mine MIIM SVR for server, DC for domain controller, and 0001. Now, although I may never need 9,099 servers, I use 0001 because it allows me to have 9,099 desktops if I need it. I'm going to give it a name. I don't mind if you see the name. It's There's my username for the server, not for my Azure account. And I will give it a nice complex password. I'm going to use Azure Pass. And if you notice here, this is where I'm going to select my resource group. Notice not created, but if I come over here, there is my MIIM resource group. So I'll choose that resource group. It's selected. And I'm going to choose the location that's closest to me to host these virtual machines so that I get the best performance. I'm going to then choose OK. So remember, this is the first machine. At this point, I want to choose a configuration. I'm not going to be doing much production on these, so I'm going to choose just a small single core 1.75 gig, two data disks, you get the idea, load balancing, yes, there's my estimated cost, and I choose select. Now, here are the settings for this. So here's where we want to be careful. Now, I'm going to choose standard disk type. Premium, of course, would be solid state. I get great performance. If you notice, it's created a storage group for me, and I'm going to go ahead and select that. Here is my virtual network. So I want to make sure my virtual network is correct, and it is. MIIM virtual network. Here's that subnet that I created. That's where I want the machines. Right now, I'm not going to worry about the IP address. I'm not going to worry about um, the security group. It can create that as well. I've enabled monitoring. Now, availability set. So diagnostic storage, that's fine. Availability set. I'm going to go ahead and create one. So I need a new availability set. I need to give it a name. What do you want to bet? I'm going to call mine MIIM availability set. And I'll say OK. That'll give me the availability set that I need. There it is. And I choose OK. It goes ahead and gives me a summary. I'll check my summary, make sure everything looks good here. And once I confirm everything looks good, I'll say OK. Now, at this point, you'd want to walk through the exact same steps to initialize the second server. If you need help with that, just go back and watch this video. I'm going to go ahead and initialize the second server, and then we'll get on to part three. Take care.